Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Linux Hub, the open box version. And it's pretty much the same thing as the uh, XFCE. The only difference is that I'm running open box with this system. So as you can see from right here, everything pretty much looks the same. When you first boot up, you get the uh, welcome screen from Linux Mint and it's pretty much all untouched. This part of the uh, ISO I left alone, so everything's original and everything goes to Linux Mint. And the only difference is that this is using the open box uh, window manager with the 10 tool panel. All right, so everything's the same as the XFC version. You got the system tray, the pinned apps, and just like before, the left click opens up Rofi. And the right click opens up the XFCE uh, application menu. There are some differences here with this menu because being that it is the open box window manager, we don't have the uh, XFCE desktop on here at all. It's not even installed on here, but I, I, you know, I got this to work, but I did have to make some changes. For example, when I click on the, the logout session, instead of opening up the XFCE logout, I just made my own session manager so we can log out reboot shut down basically the same function so just that i had to create a different and on the uh the settings manager since we don't have xfce this is actually full open box there is no xfce on here if you click on that i make it open up a uh, lx appearance so you can change the look and feel of your system but other than that it's uh everything else is uh pretty much the same it's all the same programs. All right, so right now we're prompted for some updates. Let's take a look at the updates. And we have uh, we have two here, two files that need to be updated. So it's not bad. I'll just go ahead and update these real quick. Bin utensils and WebKit 2GTK. All right, while well, it's installing the updates, we can take a look at our uh, terminal emulator and for this I'm using uh, the uh, LX terminal so we have LX terminal 0 0.4.0 .0. and if I do a neo fetch here you can see Let me get bigger for you guys you can see it good And this is running the uh, 2.3, 21.3 uh, release of Linux Mint. I'm using that ISO on this one. So it's all updated. It's all good. All right. And that's our terminal. Updates completed. Oh, if you notice on my Windows, I also, whenever I use OpenBox, I don't like to have the... Uh, the close and shut down and all that on my windows I because I do everything from the uh, from the uh, taskbar so as you see here I resize make it bigger bring it down bring it up if I want to close it I just right click on it it's just a personal preference of mine if there's something you like then it's there but you can always activate it back so on our file manager you see there is no shutdown or resize or none of those uh, buttons I do it all from here. It's all done from the uh, from the taskbar. That's the way I get. That's the way my workflow is. That's the way I set it up. And on this, same as before, I'm using Nemo 6.0.2. It's my preferred uh, file manager. If you want to use another file manager, you can, you can always install whatever you want on here. But uh, let me get into config. Open up my open box folder, and right here, there's a, a file called rc.xml. So if you open this with your text editor, which in this case I have Pluma installed, scroll all the way to the bottom. If you want your decorations back, you just delete this one part right here where it says application class and it just has a star. So let me just remove that real quick. And then I'll save this and then I'll refresh open box. Okay, now I've logged back in. You can see the buttons here on top. So let me just bring that down. Now you can see everything has the buttons. So if I open up a file manager, 
See, it has, they're real small on top, but they're there. So now you have the all the buttons right here. So you can resize it and all that, do all this. But I do it all from the taskbar, but you can do it from right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it back in because I don't like having those. So go to open box, open my RC file, open it with Pluma. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And I'll just, I'll just type it in. Decor. And that should do it. So, all right, bam, made them disappear. So, for this, I didn't have to reboot. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Now, if something happens like this, when you log out and log back in, you don't get your wallpaper, you just type in nitrogen dash dash restore. There we go. All right, so like I said, you have your left click menu, opens up uh, Rofi. And then you have your right click menu that opens up uh, the XFCE panel. And do I have a middle click on this? I actually don't because uh, the settings manager won't work right here. But what I can do is I can uh, do something simple like open up uh, my Tintu editor. And right here, I'll just activate something for the uh, middle click and I'll change the description on it. Just in case if you wanted to do something like that. I mean, there's up to, there's up to like five different options you can do with one button. You can make it do all kinds of things. So let's say button number one right now, left click is Rofi. The middle click right here, it has an XFC, XFCE4 settings manager. So I'm going to just set it up to open OB Conf. And on the tool tip, I'll just change it right here. That way you'll know it says OB Conf. All right, click on apply. So now when you hover your mouse over it, the middle click says OBConf. And there you go. And like I said, I can control it all from right here from the taskbar. So let's say if I open up a file manager. Huh, that's actually, oops. oh, there it is, control alt, sorry. <laughs> I was a little confused for a minute. Yeah, control alt, and you can just grab it, and you can move it wherever you want. And then the rest of the function, you can just control it from right here, from your taskbar. All right, and I am using the, the Firefox web browser, same version as last time. And uh, I believe it's 121, and it is. As you can see, I, I got a, my RC script to open everything, these certain files in full screen. So you can see right here, as a 121.01. Certain amps, I got them to open up automatically in full screen, like uh, Firefox, uh, Terminal, File Manager, Bluma, things, text editors. I got those things because I always want them to open up full screen. But if you want to resize it, you can always resize it. So let me give you an example here. Go back to that about Firefox and it does that. Just, you know, you can scroll up or scroll down and you could always resize it. You could put it back to its normal size or you could just make it bigger again. But if you notice the way I like it, I don't like to have the, the window borders and no shutdown or anything. And it's all controlled with the mouse. So just right click and it's done. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to show you that this is the open box version. And uh, if it's something you want to play with, take a look at. 
I'll have the uh, download link in the video description. All right, you guys, and I'm out.